Okay, this is brand new, finished at 7 o'clock this morning. It woke me up and demanded that I finish writing it. So, how to write a poem in Oakland. First, you gotta survive. Growing up here or moving here? From the place where they didn't want you to be you. You might be too queer, too bright, too brown, too sensitive to watch America killing herself slowly on the nightly evening news. So you move to a city where fog eats the summer and people use the word revolution a little too lightly. You fall in love. You plant tomatoes in your feral garden that faces the street. A new neighbor presses her nose through the chain link fence and asks if she can help. You have her crush eggshells around the base of the tomatoes to fend off the snails. Her hands staining black with dirt and stories she is so young and beautiful telling you about cops and camels. One day she will find her teacher when she makes it all the way to the Caspian Sea. All you need to write poems is enough dreams about free. You try leaving Oakland for paradise, but the grass is clipped too short or the snow stays too long, or the beaches are covered in white tourists wearing bad shorts, or the summer nights are so humid your skin turns to flypaper attracting tiny bits of trash. You wouldn't have it any other way. Sometimes a poem arrives on the wings of a mosquito burning your knuckles awake at 3 a.m ready to break bones or disappear when you remember another sleep interrupted by uninvited hands fumbling under your waistband in a distant desert on the side of a long blank road. You fought that one off and forgot about it until you moved back to Oakland and tried to dream. All you need to write a poem is enough trouble. <laughs> one day the ground might open up and swallow all the scabs and snot rags, all the empty bottles and one-way tickets, all the years of living hard enough to earn the words on this page. We do not come by poems through small risks. We saw right through the rib cage. We learn to draw gravity. We wake too early and write. Sometimes you will find yourself sketching stop signs around the sun. Sometimes you will turn the music up, put aloe on your burns, wrap your arms around the weight of not knowing. Let her lean into you and love until you both become real and worn, animal pulses in small ghetto rooms. You will soon seek a vocabulary for joy. You will find that orgasms require friction. Heaven is not made of ice. Oh. Yeah.